so guys welcome to SC cyber safe um it's a new year so happy new year happy new year to you and so we are doing we are going to be doing something different this year so we'll be doing um like a new series it's going to be like a series and the title is like ideas okay so we'll be talking more on different we'll be, I'll be talking more on different ideas so ideas of innovation ideas of um like it's going to be revolving around programming around hacking around different stuff so today the first the first series is starting today so you've gotten you've seen so many places where someone's phone might have misplaced or gotten lost in the process of either it was lost by the person or it was stolen and so the person is like how do i get my phone how do i get my phone if if it was okay let's assume it was stolen i think that would be a better scenario so the phone was stolen and then you are trying to get you are trying to get your phone that was stolen but how do you do this most times if you are if you are using an iphone or an android it's if you can get your you can locate your phone if the location is turned on and then the person is connected to an internet connection then you can start to um, do the necessary stuff to find your phone by if it's an android you use um you use google to locate it your google account that's if it's still logged into your google account iphone you use um the phone the phone finder the way they find it in iphone so but and that is in the case where the the details have not been wiped and that is if the phone is not been long misplaced the phone or maybe it was not stolen but in the instance where your phone is stolen i know most people want to know about this in the instance your phone is stolen now and you are trying to get it and probably the person that stole this phone switched off the phone and then after some time after some that most most what the what most people do after they steal it they switch it off so that you they they don't get any call no contact no disturbance so what they do later they go and do a thorough wipe if like a factory reset so they clear it in any account that is on it they clear it okay so how do you retrieve how do you get your phone back how do you locate your phone when it's not connected to the internet and then you are not you are not even logged into any of those google accounts or anything that can help you trace your phone it's like a deadlock there's nothing you can do in this case there is nothing you can do in this case to get your phone back if everything has been wiped but there's something i'm proposing but it's that's why i call it an idea it might have been thought about it might have been done it might have been worked upon it might even be in the stage of might even be in the stage of improvement okay so i think in the, the, it will require a programmer someone good with um, programming it will require an ethical hacker someone that can hack and then it will require an app developer okay and so these three people or four people will come together to do this program okay so we we'll don't go anywhere we'll be right back So after giving this a thorough thought, I was like, what if there's an, because most times you um, perform a factory reset on a phone, all the applications installed goes away. So it's just the system applications that are there, the ones that came with the phone. Okay, so what, what do we do in case, or how do we locate this phone? So I proposed on um, having something like an application that will do, that would be like a system app. So we'll do it like, it should be like a kind of a system app in a way that even if you factory reset this application, you won't be able to uninstall the application unless you have like because it's going to be the application is going to be encrypted. So unless you have like um, the password used to encrypt the app in the first place, which only the owner knows, the owner of the phone before it was stolen, which only the owner knows. So only with that password will, will you be able to um, uninstall the app or remove the app from the phone. And what this app can do is that. The, here is where the ethical hacker will come. Is the, the, the mobile developer will be the one to develop the app and then do the whole application thing to get it to kick the application stuff up. Then the work of the ethical hacker now is going to be to make sure um, stuff like a payload. You know what? If you don't know what a payload does, a payload you can easily monitor um, an application or you can monitor someone or a device with with certain payloads or certain. Um, with certain payloads basically so this payload will be installed on the app and which will enable you to be able to monitor or locate the person so if the app cannot be deleted if the person tries and the person factory resets the phone 
the app is still there so the person might not know because the person obviously stole the phone so if the person connects the phone to the internet automatically there a backdoor is automatically since the person has connected the phone to the internet there is a link to the to the hacker so the hacker can always gain connection to the phone because of that particular app will be connected to the internet automatically okay and so since the hacker can gain access through that app to the phone you can then perform a location you can, you can perform a locator to know where the person is who stole the phone and then the exact location so with all this put in place it's it's when i thought about it, I've, I've spoken to few um programmers um mobile application developers and even at school hackers to do it's it's something that it's is something that is going to be tough and then it's uh, there will be privacy issues in this case but it's just an idea it's open it's open to suggestion because uh, in the first place i'm looking at it how do you you have to know who is in charge of monitoring your phone because a payload in your phone can be exploited by someone else if it's not something um, well crafted by the hacker okay so but uh, with with those ideas i feel if someone misplaces this phone, even if everything is wiped away, with this idea, you will be able to, you can still retrieve your phone. You can get the location of the person, except the person disposes the phone entirely. That particular application that cannot be uninstalled can easily be used to locate the phone wherever it is, as far as the person turns on or connects it to the internet. Except the person says, no, I'm not connecting this phone at all to the internet, then the phone is useless. It's no longer a smartphone. Okay, so. If you have any, uh, if you have any ideas, any contributions to this, if you know a way it can work, or if you, if you, if, if there are downsides to this, if you think there are downsides, either in the in the aspect of privacy or the hacking aspect, or if you think this project is possible, put um, comments below and let's hear your opinions on that. Okay. So, but for now, I think that should be all on under this project. So, questions for mobile app developers: Do you think you can? But in the first place, you think you can create an application that cannot be uninstalled even if the phone is wiped? Do you know how to go about that? Must the phone be rooted? Must, must it not be rooted? Or what? Do you know the process of doing that? If you can drop your comments below. Why for school hackers? Do you know how to do work with the payload? And do you have to do it in a way that you'll be able to listen to the connection if once the person is connected to the internet? Do you know how to go about that and about embedding? such a code in the application because you will need to work hand in hand with the mobile app developer so do you know how to do that so that's your own rule although it's going to be a teamwork um, at a point in time but that's your own rule for the ethical hackers then for the programmers or for like because you might need some scripting and then just need to program it you will be the one to see if this can be better actualized so you'll be the ones doing the test work the the virtualization of the whole this thing so you can do the sandbox sandbox testing but the programming will just be to just for touch ups in some parts so everyone is working together to see if this can be actualized ideas and stuff so I I kind of like this 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 because I kind of like this series because it's going to be very interesting you see people that have lots of ideas even people that this is time for people to bring the ideas forward, even ideas that you, you thought that might be stupid or might not make sense. Trust me, all ideas are all ideas make sense in one way or the other. Can it be actualized? So that's what matters most. So no idea is useless. So with this series, as the series goes on, I'm sure I'm going to get some many opinions, different ideas which I'm going to put on in the channel and we as usual get opinions from other people. So we can't wait. Let's get started. So if you are new to this channel, if you're first time here in SC Cyber City, please do well to click the subscribe button and also give us a thumbs up by clicking the like button just above here on your screen to, to encourage us to show, show that you're actually following and then this will help us rank better on YouTube to get to get more people to see our video and then to get more opinions. So don't forget to click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click on the share button. Share with friends via WhatsApp or any other platform, Facebook, any platform you know we can get more programmers, ex school hackers, mobile application developers, people that, will, that are ready to put put head and then um, see to 
this idea that to see if this idea is something good or something that can be achieved okay because i i feel most people even you watching even if you don't know about all this i'm saying i know you want something like that where you can easily find your phone even if it was even if it was wiped or anything you can still find your phone no matter if it was stolen or misplaced okay so so thank you we'll see you guys in the next video so don't forget we always upload twice a week once in the weekend that's on saturday and one in the weekday probably or wednesday so thank you we'll see you in the next video so don't forget to click the round subscribe button if you have not clicked on it and also enjoy those videos they are really very interesting guys enjoy those videos and see you next time